Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In these episodes, we're going through the questions that I have received that come through hamradioanswers at gmail.com. That's a great way to send a question. Or you can go to my website at ke0og.net, that's .net, slash ask hyphen Dave. That'll work too. If you want to submit a question that could be considered uh, for the QST column that I write called Ask Dave, send it to, to uh, ask Dave, no hyphen, ask Dave at ARRL.org. Today our question comes from George uh, Guerra, KC2FST. And he has a very simple question, and I know a lot of people have this question as to why uh, the amateur licensing uh, process is cumulative. He says, I have my novice license since 18 years ago, and, I, and now I try to get the general, so why do I have to go through the technician and can't just jump from novice to general? Let's go take a look at the whiteboard and see if we can't get an answer to that question. It used to be that there were several classes of license. There was novice, uh, tech, tech, and tech plus. Okay, there was general and advanced and extra okay now the um, FCC in its restructuring of amateur radio did away with any new novice licenses if you have one you can uh, continue to renew it in perpetuity it's not just a one or two year license they did away with the tech plus they did away with the advanced and by the way the advanced used to be the tough a test and then the extra was mostly about the volunteer examiner uh, processes but all of the heavy advanced stuff got moved to the extra so what we have is an, and the tech general and extra are left now there are four uh, tests one two three four four is telegraphy and has been done away with. So we have just two, three, and four. So the two gets you to a technician. The three plus two gets you to uh, general, and the four plus three plus two gets you to amateur extra, which is the highest uh, that it goes. So they're still advanced, uh, running around, still tech plus running around, and uh, novice running around. Now let's look at the FCC's thinking on this. They view amateur radio privileges as hierarchical. So this is tech and you have to pass element 2 which is 35 questions. Okay and then on top of that We have general, which is element three, and 35 questions. Okay, and on top of that is amateur extra, okay, which is element four. and is 50 questions. The difference between the general and the tech, if you call this jump, say, 10, then this jump is 50. It, I'm just talking about the hardness of the upgrade. Uh, it's the test for amateur extra is significantly more difficult than the test for general. The test for general is a little more difficult than the test for tech. Now, the FCC sees this 
as hierarchical. And a foundation is the tech. Then if you want to build on top of the tech, you take the general. Now, you'll notice on the general that there are, it's techish in the sense of the topics covered, but they're covered one or two layers deeper. Okay, so here's your foundation. Now, foundation is a term used in many countries for their entry-level license. And they'll have either two or three on top of that. So the general builds on the foundation, okay? And the amateur extra builds on the general and tech. So here's your foundation. Here's your general on top of it and your AE on top of that. Now, with that kind of a cumulative hierarchy, you can't skip these because there is material covered on these tests down here that are foundational and are not reconsidered again in the amateur extra test, okay? So the way the testing has been sent up, set up, in order to become a general, and, and I suggest that what you're doing is a worthy idea going direct to general. Uh, in order to get the general, you have to get the tech, then the general, then you can do the extra. So the extra equals extra plus general plus tech. The general equals um, general plus tech. The tech is just the tech, okay? Now, if you have been in the past a general and your license has lapsed, all you need to take is the tech test to prove that you understand some of your basic ham radio, and your general will be restored to you with a different call sign, probably. And the same with extra. Now, if you're an advanced and you've already done all those difficult questions that are now part of the extra, and you let that lapse, all you have to do is take the tech and you will automatically get the general, not the extra. Now, a lot of people don't like that. They think that should take you straight there. I'm one of them, but I'm not the FCC, so I don't set these rules. So, George, to answer your question, the reason that you have to take the general is because the general exam is not a complete exam to cover the general material. The rest of the stuff that needs to be covered is in the tech exam. It's a hierarchical build with tech being the basic license, uh, general is the intermediate, and amateur extra being the top license. So there you have it. We're having another giveaway in the month of December. And here is how you can enter the giveaway. This is the giveaway. Don't worry, we'll get it wound up for you. This is an MFJ17754 uh, trapped antenna that does 20 and 40. Now, this was one of the antennas that I considered for use uh, in the reference station. However, it doesn't cover all of 40. It covers half. You can pick which half. You can see that I've got the uh, wire kind of coiled back on itself to shorten it. The 17754 comes deliberately too long, and so you have to uh, shorten it. And so they provide these little things with uh, uh, screws here that uh, attach the wires together. And you can use those um, to do your adjustments. Or you can just bend the wire back like I did there. This is made of bare copper. It has been outdoors for quite a while. It is in perfectly good working order. And this will be uh, giveaway number five. Giveaway number five. And so, here's how you enter. Send a postcard to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. 
on your postcard, a QSL card, or a single sheet of paper in an envelope, give me your name, your call sign, and the address you would want to ship to if I draw your entry, and um, your phone number in case I have any questions. And uh, this could soon be yours. This thing is, although it works on 40, it's only 42 feet long instead of 66 feet long because you get a little bit of loading in the traps right here. Okay, that could be yours. I greatly appreciate those who support this channel via Patreon, uh, via PayPal. If you want to look at various ways you can help support this channel and enable me to do things like hire an assistant, get new cameras, uh, go to ham fests, and things like that. Um, also, learn a little bit more about my airplane. Uh, you can um, support this channel by going to dcastler.com, D-C-A-S-L-E-R.com, slash support, and see if you can find a way there that works for you, either one time or recurring. So, thank you very much for being with us today, and until we next meet, 73.